Hi, my name is Tina and welcome to my channel. Um, I, I had duodenal switch surgery on June 9th, 2020, and I am just um, starting a channel to document and track my progress and to ideally help other people who are interested in duodenal switch surgery, um, just because I didn't have a lot of resources when I was looking into that. So um, today I wanted to talk about um, my surgery process and the pre-surgery experience. And um, I think for all bariatric surgeries, there's just a, I, hopefully, there's a really long process that you go through to make sure that you're healthy enough for the surgery and that it's gonna be um, just a good thing for you to do and not hurt yourself. And, and my process was very long and I was really surprised. I didn't, I had no idea it was gonna be um, as strenuous as it was. So I just would like to share my experience. Um, I have a whole bunch of notes down here, so I'm gonna be looking down a little bit. Um, and I'm not so good at editing yet, so um, please bear with me, I'll do my best. Um, so my first experience, or the first step that I took was I did a whole bunch of research. First I found out my insurance would cover um, bariatric surgery. And then I looked through my insurance, I have Aetna, I looked through their um, recommendations for surgeons, for bariatric surgeons in my area. And I live in Tacoma, Washington, and um, the doctor that I had the most really good reviews and just a lot of information about was Dr. Srikanth in Federal Way, Washington, which is um, not very far from where I live. It's about 20 minutes away. So, depending on traffic. Um, so I made an appointment with him. My appointment was February 21st. Um, my husband went with me and we, um, I didn't know what surgery I was gonna be interested in. I, I really, I, I know people that have had the sleeve and I know people that have had gastric bypass. Um, I was leaning toward the sleeve just because that's, most of the people that I know that have had bariatric surgery have had VSG, the sleeve. Um, so that's what I went in to talk to him about. And so it, during the process of him asking questions and what I was looking for and what I wanted in my personal history with weight loss and my weight, um, my doctor, Dr. Shrikanth recommended that I try to look into, um, duodenal switch. So I had never heard of that before. I never heard that word before. I knew nothing about it. And so I had a lot of questions. I, I, I didn't know, I just did, I really had no idea what duodenal switch was. Um, and it sounded, I mean, just because I'd never heard of it before, it kind of sounded like it was some new or something. I don't know. I just didn't have any idea what, it, what he was talking about. So he kind of went into the different surgeries. He started with the VSG because that's what I had initially asked him about. And he said that that has, um, great success with a lot of people, but the problem with it or the issue with it that people find is that um, there's, you typically only really lose and maintain, um, and I could be saying this completely wrong, so don't think I'm being, um, trying to mislead you. I just, he just said it was about 80%, you could lose 80% of your excess weight, or maybe it was 70%. Anyway, it wasn't as high as a lot of them but my issue which he found out while he was talking to me about my history with my weight was that I have lost and gained so much so many times I'm just a, I've been dieting I'm 51 years old now and I've been dieting since I was about 12 um so I just my weight and I'm really good at dieting and I'm and I gain it back as soon as I'm done dieting so I just have a really my weight has just swung back and forth. I've been high as 340. I weighed 340 pounds in my early and mid twenties. Um, I've gone down to about 160, 150 pounds when I was in my mid thirties, but I, I just gained it back. So, um, talking to him about that and going through my history with him, he said, you've already, you're, you're, because I, I'm currently, when I first, when I went to meet with him, my weight was 282. So I 
my body thinks I've already lost 60 pounds. I is basically what he was talking about. So if I've already lost 60 pounds and then the surgery will help me lose a certain percentage more, it's not going to get me where I want to be. I, he, he was saying, you know, you typically would get to about 220, 210 with VSG surgery based on, he, but based on my history anyway. And I, that, that doesn't interest me at all. I mean, I wouldn't mind wearing, weighing 210 pounds, but I don't want to go through the whole surgery process and all, everything that that's going to take just to only, to still be overweight. That's not, it just didn't appeal to me at all. And then he was talking, then he started talking about the gastric bypass surgery, which was um, the other thing I had heard a lot about, mostly from Minnie Mae in Tennessee. She had she's somebody that I follow on YouTube and I really like her. I really love her content. I watch her a lot and she had had a gastric bypass and I believe she's kind of closer to my age um, than a lot of the people that I knew that had had VSG. So um, he was talking about the gastric bypass and he said, yeah, that would be an okay option for you. But again, you're, you're not probably going to get down to where you want to get down. So then he started talking about duodenal switch and he pulled out this sheet of paper that was like a diagram of my <laughs> of a person's insides and um he said they take off a portion of your it's they take off 85 percent of your stomach which is the same for vsg but then there's another part of it after they do that so it's like a sleeve and then they go in and re reroute your intestines um, and <laughs> when he was talking about that, I was like, that sounds terrible. Um, yeah, I just, I could not really wrap my head around it. But the way he was talking about it, he just made it sound, he's just a very matter-of-fact person. And I love my doctor, Dr. Shrikanth in Federal Way, or actually he has an office in Kirkland, Washington, and also Federal Way, Washington. And I went to the Federal Way one, but he's just a great surgeon. He's he's just got a very matter-of-fact way about him and sense of humor and I just like him a lot but anyway so he was explaining the duodenal switch surgery and I you know I listened and I said and he and he said I think that's going to have the best results for you I think you're going to get down to and he asked me what I thought my goal weight would be and I said well I I would love to weigh 150 pounds I'm five foot six um and he said, 150 pounds for your frame and for you, I, I would probably guess you'd be 130 pounds. And I thought, wow, <laughs> if I could weigh 130 pounds, I I mean, I know I would be thin, but just the thought of that was, just kind of blew my mind a little bit. So, and But he said with this surgery, if that's what I wanted, I could potentially get down as low as I wanted. So um, I took all that home. I went home, I talked to my husband about it, I just thought about it, I researched a lot, um, and I encourage anybody to do that. I, I feel it's really, really important to trust your doctor and to trust your surgeon and your medical team, but I also know, hum you know humans are humans and people are people do different things for different reasons. And I just know from me, myself, I needed to do my own personal research. So I appreciate the doctor. I appreciate the team, the medical team, but I needed to find out for myself without his slant and his opinion about it. So, and he's the one who wants to do the surgery on me. So I just thought I needed to make sure it wasn't a bias type thing. So I did a whole bunch of research on it and in the meantime, I had scheduled, he, I said, I do want to proceed with the bariatric surgery, whatever we decide. And I, and so he had his nurse or somebody in the office had given me a list of things that I needed to accomplish. It was a really big list. I had to do, first thing I had to do was an endoscopy where they put you to sleep and then they put a camera down your throat and check out your esophagus and all your stuff. I don't know. Um, I know it's really a normal thing to do when you're having bari bariatric surgery. Um, I'm not a medical person and I don't, I'm not, I'm never going to claim to be. It's just endoscopy. So he scheduled me for the endoscopy for, I believe it was like, that was a Friday that I met with him and the endoscopy was scheduled for, I think the next Wednesday, like it was fast. Um, so I just went in and did that. 
and that was no big deal. Um, they told me that I might have a sore throat. They told me, um, you know, I might feel a little bit scratchy for a while, but I didn't feel anything. I mean, I was, it was, I, I went to sleep and I woke up. Um, that's all I remember and then went home. So that was really easy. Um, and I also had to have a psych, psychological evaluation, um, which that did not scare me at all. I, a social, I've been a social worker um, for most of my life and I kind of know what those are about. I've wor gone through those with um, families that I was working with, so I didn't, I wasn't worried about that at all. But I did, that was, we're, we're also in a pandemic when this is all going on. So it, everything, that was tel over the telephone. Um, so I did that, that took about an hour. Um, she asked me just a lot of questions and um, how I felt about myself, my self-esteem, my history, my um, just a bunch of questions. So we did that. Um, then I, so also before the endoscopy, I had to fast. So I fasted for a full day of just liquids not a problem for me at all because like I said, I've done every single diet you could think of. I fa fasting is not um, strange to me. So fasted, had an endoscopy, uh, and then on March 10th, um, I met with my primary care physician, uh, talked to her about having um, duodenal switch surgery and she just checked me out, made sure that I was healthy. Um, she let me know that she herself was pursuing weight loss surgery, which I thought was really interesting and fun. <laughs> and but not she wasn't going for duodenal switch she was going for I believe VSG but anyway so that was on the 10th um, and then I met with Dr. Srikanth again and I had he gave me another list of labs that I he, he said well have you done all these labs and I said well I'm this is like a two weeks later <laughs> and I only did I did the endoscopy and I did the psych evaluation but he, evidently he expected me to do a lot more than that so uh, that I stepped it up a little bit and I made appointments for the labs. Um, that they, my, um, I, I'm, I have very, very small movie veins. So when you have, when I have to give, I don't mind giving blood. I don't, I'm not afraid of it and I, I'm not squeamish or anything, but my veins are really imp impossible. Like it just takes a really long time. They have to dig around in there and it just not, it's, takes a long long time and when they take your labs for weight loss surgery they need like five vials of blood so if your blood isn't going really fast it just I mean it was just a long process but anyway we handled that um, and then I had to start doing nutrition appointments so my insurance required a certain amount of appointments about nutrition so nutrition counseling and a certain amount of point appointments about diet so on March 18th, I had my first nutritional appointment with um, one of the nurse, one of the, I believe she's a nurse at Dr. Shreekent's office. Uh, that was really interesting. She, she talked about my diet, talked about my labs, and then she gave me this really long list of supplements that I was to start taking immediately. Um, so <laughs> I'm not really a pill taker, but I... She said this is really important. So um, I bought all the all of the supplements and started taking those immediately. Um, and to me, in my mind, it was over the top just because I'm not a pill taker. I just don't, it's just not something I do. And I don't, I've never really taken supplements or vitamins. So, but I don't wanna be sick and I wanna be healthy and I wanna do this for my health. So I'm gonna listen to her and I did what she said. Um, and then on March 20th, this two days later, I met with the Dr. Shrikanth again, and he, uh, we just talked about what I wanted to do if I made a decision about what type of weight loss surgery I wanted. And at that time, I let him know that I was sure I was gonna go with the duodenal switch. And he said, great. Uh, I answered any questions that I had, went really smoothly. Um, on April 7th, I had to go to see a neurologist. Um, and I had to, that's just a specific thing for me because I have multiple sclerosis um, and I'm typically asymptomatic. Uh, so I'm, I've been sick a few times in my life, very sick a few times in my life, but I'm not, most of, mostly when I get very sick, it has to do with fatigue and my body gets very tired and 
Um, so I don't really think of it as a problem for me. I don't think about it often, but I let him know that I had multiple sclerosis and he said, well, you need to get a release from the neurologist. So I did that on April 7th. Then I had a couple more nutrition appointments on May 6th um, because I believe one of my labs tested me anemic. So my iron was not okay. So I had an iron infusion at the hospital on May 6th um, and they just put veins or um, inf they, they just inject you with iron. It's a pretty big bag of something. It takes a while, it takes about half an hour. Um, and then I met with a different primary care physician just to make sure I was okay. Then I had my second iron infusion a week later, or no, it was two weeks later. No, it was one week later. The 6th and the 13th were my iron infusions. Um, and then I had a couple more diet appointments and I was done with those appointments. So June 4th was my last appointment before surgery. Um, and we talked about surgery i had my weight had dropped so when i first went in to see him i weighed 282 pounds when i the the appointment that i had right before i went to surgery i weighed 252 pounds so i had dropped 30 pounds which was what he had told me that he would wanted me to drop 28 pounds um so i accomplished that it was um not difficult like i said i'm just i'm a chronic dieter <laughs> so losing weight isn't hard for me um Keeping it off is really, really hard for me. So, and then I had, oh, I had to do a, a COVID test. That was weird. <laughs> just drive through a parking lot and they just test you at, out of the window of your car. I just thought that was really strange. But anyway, that came out okay. Um, I had pre-op pre counseling the night before, which was just over the phone. It was a group, like a group um, meeting. And it was fast. It was the same nurse that I was working with at Dr. Shrikant's office, so it went really well. Um, and then they told me that the night before I had to change my bed sheets, I had to shower, and I had to use this Hibby Clean stuff all over me between my neck and my ankles. And so I washed with that. It's not, I mean, I like moisturizing body wash. That's what I use. So this is not, it's not pleasant like that at all. It's medicinal and it doesn't leave you soft and it's just kind of yuck, but I did it. So I did that um, the night before, then I went to bed and then as soon as I woke up the next morning, which I had to be at the hospital by 5 a.m. for my surgery. Um, so I had to get up at like three because I had to get ready and I had to shower and it was kind of a commute to the hospital. So I had to shower again with the Hibby Cleanse that morning. Um, and then I couldn't have any deodorant or any perfume or anything, just, it was hard. I mean, not to be a whiner, but I needed lotion after the night before and that morning I had to shower with Hibby Clean Cleanse. My skin just felt terrible, but that's what they needed. So that was on June 9th. And then that morning we, we drove to the hospital. I got there by five. My husband and I um, went into the, they called me right away. We went into the emergency room um, and it went really fast after that. So this video is getting really, really long and I'm kind of yammering on. So I'm going to end it now. Um, and my next video, I want to talk about, um, I'm going to talk about my surgery experience and then the recovery. Um, maybe part of the recovery because it seems like these videos are getting, I mean, I, I don't want to really record super long videos. So um, it's kind of my thing. So anyway, thank you for watching. And if there's any questions or any um, thing that doesn't make any sense, that's probably going to happen. Um, then please leave a comment or question. I'm more than happy to answer. Um, and if you can, if you would please like and subscribe to my channel, I would so much appreciate it. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.